Hey, what's up you guys? Jeff here once again from Bone Tats and I've got a really cool job lined up. This one's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really excited to show it to you. But first, a little bit of an introduction. This job is for a guy named Josh Clark. What he does is he makes barnwood art, barnwood signs, and he does an awesome job with it. Let me just pull up my computer here and I will show you quickly some of the stuff that he does. There we go. Okay, here it is. Clark's Creations on Facebook. He does a lot of cool stuff, like I said. Um, he takes old reclaimed barn wood and he does some really cool art with it. Most of it is outdoors and hunting themed. There's a cool lion. But really he can do anything and as you can see, he's really, really talented and he does a lot of cool stuff. When I first discovered Josh Clark, and it was probably two or three years ago, the first time I saw the stuff that he was doing, and I just love it. I fell in love with it. I wanted to try and make some of it myself. Um, like a lot of you guys out there, you probably are like me. You see something, you think it's cool, you want to try it, you put it on your bucket list a list of things to do and you tell yourself yeah I'm gonna get to that and then you just never get to it but it's always been in the back of my head I want a barnwood sign what I don't know but obviously when I started bone tats just a few short months ago and got my logo made I love my logo I think it's really cool um, I wanted to have it done in barnwood and a great big huge sign something that just looks really awesome in my house but also something that I can take to shows and expos, which I'm going to start doing before too long. So that's in the works. So I've been wanting to make one. If not make one, what you do is you talk to the person who already makes them and does a fantastic job and you ask him to do one. So I contacted Josh through Instagram actually and asked him how you know the process was to get a Barnwood sign. And interestingly enough, he told me that he already followed me on Instagram, which was kind of flattering, and that he had seen my logo, loved it, and always thought to himself how cool it would look in Barnwood. So when I contacted him, he was really excited. We decided to do a trade, which is something that I don't usually do very often, but in this case, I was really excited to do a trade. So he made me my Barnwood sign, and you probably saw it, it was that center picture in that collage. I actually have it in storage. I haven't looked at it too much because I've been wanting to use it as motivation to get his project done. So what he wants done is this. He wanted me to find a nice looking elk shed, something that he could display in his home for a theme. What he wants is the Boise State Broncos. Being from Idaho, he's a big Boise State fan and he thought it would be really cool to have an elk shed done with the Boise State theme. So that's what we're doing because he wants that blue and orange color added to it. So it's going to have a lot of pop factor, it's going to look really good, and I'm excited to get started. So now it's time to go out, take that elk antler off of the shelf in the garage where I've had it been sitting for a little while, and start prepping that canvas. Alrighty, let's go get this thing. Pardon my messy garage, but there it is. That's going to become the Boise State Elk Shed for Josh Clark. So let's just grab this thing. Take it down. Kind of cool shaped elk okay. antler. But what we're gonna do is we are going to sand down and make our canvas kind of from here, wrap it all the way down, close to the bottom. We'll keep it balanced and have it look good. So we're gonna grind some of that away, turn it white so we have a nice white canvas from which to make our plan. So here we go.
all mapped out, laid out, and uh, this is going to be fun. So, looking forward to about I don't know, six to eight hours of grinding up bone dust and making a stink. So it'll be fun. Alrighty, catch y'all on the flippity flip. Got everything mapped out and drawn up last night. Boise State Broncos. So it's been, let's see, I worked on this elk antler a little bit on Thursday morning. Went out of town, did a little vacationing with the family up to Park City, Utah. Had a ton of fun, but uh, didn't get it quite finished carving. So this morning I had to get up and get back in the carving mode and uh, finish this thing up, at least the carving part. So. I'm getting ready to go downstairs and go put some color back onto it. But first I wanted to let you guys have a quick look at it um, before I do that outside where you can see good detail. Let's check this thing out. Alright, here we go. Turned out pretty sweet. Let's start on this side. Yeah, the Boise State Broncos logo in Boise State down the main trunk of the antler. Ooh, and a little spider crawling around on it. Pretty sweet. I'm really happy with how the details coming out on this one. I can't wait to get the color inside down deep and then get it sanded and uh, colored up because with the orange and blue this one's really gonna stand out. It's gonna look awesome. So I'm really excited to finish it up so that you can have a look. The goal is to get it done this evening, so we'll see. Got a couple hours worth of work on it. Maybe a little bit more, but should be able to get this one wrapped up and finished for Josh Clark up in Idaho. So thank you for following along. Let's go get it done. What's up guys? Alrighty. I got this elk antler all colored up, so now it's time to do a little bit of sanding to bring up contrast. Some of that contrast is already there, and I'll show it to you in just a second. But it uh, turned out really good. So that looks cool. I'll set this up, and we'll just get this thing sanded. And then we'll really be able to see that contrast even more. So check this out. Go. It's gonna look pretty sweet. I'm excited to watch this thing come to life.
well the contrast turned out really good and that's my favorite part just seeing that dark and white that contrast just coming to life so that's coming out pretty sweet i'm really happy with how that looks Hey, what's up you guys? Um, I'm all done with the Boise State Broncos elk shed for Josh Clark up in Idaho. Turned out really good. I'm really excited to have you take a look. Um, this one was a little different for me because I had a lot of stuff going on in between times and opportunities that I could work on it. So it's been almost a full week since the night I sat it down and started mapping everything out. Went up to Park City. Had a little vacation, came back, and uh, still had some family stuff that I needed to give them my attention. Yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday is Monday morning. I got up early and worked on it for a little while, finished up the carving part, and then last night I got it all colored, but it was really late at night and so it was dark and I didn't want to have you guys look at it in the dark when uh, it's harder to see. So anyways, let's go take a look at it. Got it done. The trade is almost complete. I just gotta wrap that baby up, package it, send it in the mail so that Josh, you can have it. But I just wanted to quickly show you the trade. This is what I made for him. Super cool, turned out really good. Really happy with how it turned out. He's a big Boise State Broncos fan. In return, I got this. So I'll bring it up here a little closer so you can see it. There's my sign. Turned out so good. And I'm super happy with it. Bone Tats Elk Shed. Trade for. Barnwood sign. What a great trade. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks so good. I need to get that thing hung up in my house in a place where I can pull it down and use it for shows and expos and stuff like that as well. Anyways, thank you Josh. I appreciate you wanting to do this trade. It's totally worth it for me. I hope it was worth it for you. And thanks for watching everybody. you for following me on Instagram thanks for following me on Facebook thank you for subscribing to my channel and uh, thanks for watching